Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Galaxy S7 running the Android 7.0 Nougat uh, versus the new Google Pixel XL that comes with Android 7.1 Nougat stock version of course. So we're going to be doing a speed test as well as a, a bit of a comparison software wise and see what the similarities are. So let's just first boot them up at the same time so you can see both phones are completely off and let's get right into it and see here if there's any improvement in speed uh, speed boot of speed with the Galaxy S7 after updating to 7.0 Nougat or not let's see here and also Snapdragon 821 is here which is about 10% faster than Snapdragon 820 let's see and you can see Galaxy S7 beats the Pixel XL in booting up and this one is still taking some time so we will be connecting to same Wi-Fi network okay now it's on so uh, almost four second difference I guess so I'm gonna connect to the same network here as you can see it's already connected so uh, yeah Android 7.1 stock here versus Android 7.0 new good of course Samsung's own skin uh, you can see that you do get app drawer on both devices well here of course you have to access it through the app button well here you can just swipe up you can also see some similarities when it comes to the quick setting area so you can see that uh, with first swipe you get all your uh, most used toggles or tools you can say like the torch uh, auto rot uh, rotate Wi-Fi battery so uh, is they are pretty similar uh, and uh, also when we scroll a bit more down here you can see it just expands and give you guys more settings and uh, basically previously we had like every uh, setting in just one page but now Samsung had made uh, multiple pages so uh, it looks more better now and also uh, we do have this blue light filter which is kind of like a night mode so I did a full review of the uh, this UI so you can check that out on my channel but you can see it looks a lot like the um, uh, the stock and or 7.1 like they adopted uh, this and it's really good so uh, of course on top of just similarities you also uh, get this search bar as well as the uh, voice integration there you can also edit these right away same thing here so uh, let's just do the speed test also side by side uh, if I first look at the background you can see everything is closed and we're going to start off with the basic phone dialer and you can see quite similar speed here. I know I've heard that the Pixel is like the fastest Android phone. Uh, so we're going to see if that's really true. And, you know, basically see how it's faster. Uh, maybe it's, fa it's going to be faster or not compared to the Galaxy S7. So uh, let's launch uh, something like uh, Calculator. So here we go. And that also feels quite similar. Uh, we can go ahead and launch something like uh, a game. Okay, let's move on towards some hardcore stuff. So we got Subway Surfer here, Snapdragon 821 head to head versus the Exynos 8890. And the Galaxy S7 is done. Okay, so uh, followed by the Pixel. So S7 uh, pull ahead with this first game and uh, we're gonna go ahead and launch another application this time that's going to be Instagram which is going to utilize Wi-Fi a little bit so let's see here let's go and uh, here I can see that the Pixel XL actually finished the uh, loading the latest feed a bit faster if I'm not wrong obviously you guys are the judge here uh, so you can see that the scrolling scrolling is everything is really smooth on both phones and you can also zoom in pictures which is also good so I'm gonna go back and uh, launch something like a color switch okay I do have it on both devices okay so uh, I guess that was about the same uh, so I'm gonna just cancel this and go back and load another game that is going to be smash hit because I do want to test out the multitasking power of both phones so wow 
that is about the same and do keep that in mind that the Galaxy S7 uh, is uh, is having Anderson 7.0 Nougat in beta stage it's just not finished okay so you can expect things to get more fast uh, if, with the official version so uh, you can see that the 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 fastest Android phone like people say it is as fast as the Galaxy S7 so I've been using this for some time and I don't really uh, see that it, it be, it, this phone being like super fast compared to other phones like OnePlus 3 Galaxy S7 you know so um, that's uh, open Twitter and I guess that was a bit faster than the Galaxy S7 uh, we can see that if we launch something like Viber and again S7 seems to be a bit quicker uh, if we launch Gunfu and again the Galaxy 7 was a bit faster there so yeah I mean the Galaxy 7 it was was faster in most of the apps opening uh, and uh, this difference may not feel like big in real life but of course you know we're doing this for the sake of comparison and you can see that it, it's looking promising the 7.0 uh, I gotta say it like it is it is definitely looking pretty sweet uh, for official version it's gonna get more faster and let's launch the camera and see which one can load that up and faster so I'm just gonna close it and launch it again let's go and this is also a little bit faster on the Galaxy S7 so super amazing stuff here by Samsung with the Android 7.0 Nougat update you can see that the camera UI also looks uh, a bit similar uh, you can see the the camera capture button is looking very similar uh, we got the gallery button at the same position uh, a different uh, a difference in like there, there there is a front camera button here and here you get the video recording button uh, so yeah I mean like I said Samsung made things uh, a lot more neat here with the Android 7.0 Nougat so that's that's a good thing alright time for some quick browsing action here so uh, first off we're gonna be loading up the Wikipedia website here at the same time let's go and let's see here which one will finish off first and it seems like the Galaxy S7 is done just a bit quicker there you can see that if we scroll uh, everything is looking very smooth same with zooming in and out so yeah no difference at all uh, in terms of the actual usage but the Galaxy S7 was faster so we're gonna be loading another website that is going to be apple.com so let me just type in here real quick and let's go and this time the Google Pixel is faster and just fly through the loading times so same thing the um, actual usage is really smooth on both phones not going to be seeing any difference with that and let's load up one final website that is going to be gsm gsmarena.com okay let's go and let's see here You can see that the Google Pixel XL is done and the Galaxy 7 took some time so yeah the Pixel XL is the winner here when it comes to the browsing uh, so you have the difference there so let's uh, do the multitasking test and see if there's any difference in these phones of course we get 4 gigs of RAM on both devices for the uh, multitasking so calculator so far both phones are looking really tight got subway surfer load up nicely on both phones look at that perfect multitasking on both of them and let's try out another game that we opened okay so first we have Instagram you can see no refresh no, no problem whatsoever let's uh, see color switch okay was that a refresh on the Google Pixel XL I leave that to you guys. You guys are the judge here. It felt like a it, it felt like a refresh, although you can see it's it's super perfect with all the other applications. So I'm gonna leave that to you guys, and you can answer that in the comment section below. So you can see the rest of the stuff is absolutely amazing on both devices. No refresh. 
Uh, we do have one more game that is the Gun Fu. And the Galaxy S7 is flawless. And the Pixel XL is also done. So top-notch phones, I have to say. Uh, both are really fast. Uh, the Pixel XL, of course, it, it does has uh, a edge over the Galaxy S7 because it's a newer phone. And uh, but but really, the Snapdragon 821 does not feel like faster uh, than the uh, Exynos 8090 device here. Uh, and also, uh, do remember that this is the beta Android 7.0 NuGet, so it's still it. Is it is doing an amazing job, and obviously with uh, with the official version, I'll be doing another speed test to see if the Galaxy 7 can actually be more better uh, than the Pixel here. It was better with the apps opening. You guys saw that, and I have to say, I mean, Galaxy 7 is uh, is like the pinnacle of power of Android devices. Like you can see that everything is super perfect here, and I and I also believe that it will get more better. With the official version so that was a speed test comparison between the pixel xl versus the galaxy s7 here uh, with the android 7.0 nougat update i'll be doing a comparison of the s7 with the iphone 7 plus so please stay tuned for that and also i'll be doing a comparison of uh, of cameras between these two phones that will be really interesting uh, because that will help you to make the final decision because some people are really interested in this google uh pixel device so yeah catch you guys in the next video peace